Hey everyone, Carolina Venom here. Today I'm checking out a new phone. Uh, this is the LG Optimus Fuel. This phone is from Straight Talk Wireless. The uh, phone's fairly new, it just came out. And I really can't find a whole lot in the way of specs on this phone. Uh, but this phone is just about like the LG Optimus Zone 2 with Verizon. Uh, basically the same phone, the same shape everything on about the same uh made, made it exactly the same uh but i have seen a little bit of difference in some of the uh specs from the zone 2 and like the building storage stuff like that with this phone here compared to the zone 2 um so anyway let's go ahead and get started i'm gonna give you the uh my thoughts of the phone of course run down the phone and specs and all that good stuff run some tests this phone is running Android 4.4.2. It does have a 3.5 inch display with 480 by 320 pixels at 165 PPI. It does have a 3 megapixel camera on the rear and records at 800 by 480 WVGA recording. It has no front facing camera. It does have a 1.2 gigahertz dual core Snapdragon 200 processor with 512 megabytes of RAM, around 2 gigabytes of built-in storage, <clears throat> and it will hold up to a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. It does have a 1700 milliamp hour battery with around 10 hours of talk time and estimated 15 days of standby time. Like I said, this is a 3G device. This is phone is from Straight Talk. This is the very first phone I have ever bought from Straight Talk. And uh, this phone is lacking in a lot of things. This phone is very fast, very speedy and reliable. I've not had any lag with this phone. And so far, it's been a pretty good phone. On the front here, you have, of course, your speaker grill. Uh, your back home. And that's also your notification light. It, it does light at different colors and your menu button here on the bottom micro USB charging port on top your 3.5 millimeter headset jack your volume rocker on this side your camera and speaker and of course your straight talk emblem down here at the bottom go ahead and power the phone on you can see down there the lights that are on and it, of course it does I think I believe you can change them um, but I'm not sure if you can or not I know it turns red when you're charging it, it turns green whenever it's done you get phone calls it blinks so it's kinda cool this phone is also a CDMA-V and the V stands for Verizon so this phone does work off the Verizon towers and of course I do have uh, service because it is um, from Verizon this was a T-Mobile phone it probably wouldn't have any service but you know it is a Verizon wireless towers that it uses this phone is very snappy even from very first turn on it's very quick very snappy um, really does not have any lag in it whatsoever uh, just kind of kind of like the uh, zone 2 uh, even with only 512 megabytes of RAM the 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor really does a good job with this phone uh, it works well and I've not had any issues I mean I've not had the phone really a long time and I don't have it activated nothing like that but I have used it some and you know basically you use the LG fuel using the zone 2 but this is exactly the same phone it's slippery just like the zone 2 is same kind of camera speaker placements all the same and you know it's just basically the same phone I wanted and I really didn't know that until after actually I pulled it out of the box and I was like man this phone just like the zone 2 but and it is but it's very smooth and it really has virtually no lag to it whatsoever and it's a good smooth running phone of course with a 3.5 inch display you're not going to be able to do a lot of web browsing it's going to be very clear or very fast or speedy because the phone screen size is so small 
compared to most phones out there today, just running, you know, about 4.5 for a decent phone, around 4.5 inch and, and above. <clears throat> but it is not a bad phone. Uh, some of the things about it, it does have a low pixel density screen. Uh, the camera is pretty shoddy, you know, like I said on the Zone 2. Um, you know, low res video capture and no front facing camera. Uh, but, you know, some of the pros are the dual core processor and it's very smooth. It's very, it's very comfortable phone. It really is, other than being very slick and very easy to drop. It will be, be pretty wise to get a case for it if you're going to have this phone. But this is a good entry level device that does work well. And, you know, for, you know, apps and playing games, stuff like that, phone calls, text. You know, it's, it's a pretty good phone for somebody looking for an entry-level device. This phone here was only twenty nine was only twenty nine ninety nine at Walmart. Uh, the price may go up eventually. I don't know, uh, but I know that when I bought it, it was only thirty bucks for this phone, as opposed to fifty dollars for the Zone Two. And of course, the plans are cheaper with Straight Talk than they are with the actual Verizon prepaid. So that right there is a good thing. I um, mean, you also get unlimited data with Straight Talk. Um, I think you get like three gigs of high-speed data. Then they throttle you back, but you're still unlimited, unlike Verizon. Um, we'll go ahead and run a benchmark test here and see what kind of speed is running. Like I said, this phone is this phone is very speedy and it does really have virtually no lag to it. Now, if he was to bog it down with apps and stuff like that and really use up a lot of RAM, then of course it's going to slow down because you know a phone with only 512 megabytes of RAM is not the greatest. But you know, you buy a budget phone, you're going to get budget specs. So, I mean, it's nothing really to complain about with this phone other than the fact that I wish it had a four inch display. Instead of a 3.5 inch, but you know, I expect them. I mean, if they make this phone right here, just like the Zone 2, I'm sure they will make a phone like the C2. Uh, I can't verify that because I can't find nothing about. I can't find nothing about Straight Talk at all. And like I said, this phone right here is fairly new. I've never seen it before uh, until I went to Walmart the other day and I seen it. Like I gotta grab one and try this thing out. Uh, but like I said, it turns out to be about the same phone as the Optimus Zone 2. So we'll look at our speeds. This device is coming in at 5,880. Now that's pretty good speeds for a phone of this size. And with only 512 megabytes of RAM. So 5,880, 5, that's a very respectable speed for this kind of phone. And that really helps out with the smoothness of the phone. Like I said, 3.5 inch display and everything. And the dual core processor, it really does work and works well. Uh, I would really highly recommend this phone, you know, for anybody with straight talk or looking for a prepaid carrier to go to because, you know, 45 bucks, I think, I think it's 45 bucks a month, you get unlimited everything. And that's not a bad price at all for this phone. I mean, unless you want a very big size screen, like a 4.5 or above, uh, 3.5 is pretty small. It is pretty, it is getting to the point now where 3.5 is just about, you know, non-existent because people don't like, the, you know, smaller screen sizes. But if you want something very small, very pocketable, and going to be very comfortable when you're, when you're using it, this is a good phone, and I can't bash it one bit. The only problem that I have with this phone is, of course, the messaging because of course the messaging you know this keyboard is decent but it's pretty small and you know it's just it's pretty cramped and you gotta type pretty slow on it especially if you got big fingers because you know but it does have pretty good auto correction on it so that's also a good thing as well um only comes with the LG keyboard and everything but and going to the camera here it does have a few settings let's go in here and so I can get it to there we go you've got all of these features you know your cheese shutter your brightness your image size you have 3 megapixel 2 megapixel wide and 1 megapixel 
your ISO, color, effect, white balance, all that good stuff. You know, your volume key can be used as your capture key um, and everything. And this this particular phone came with a four gig, four gigabyte SD card, so that was kind of a surprise to see that as well, because you don't really see that much in phones anymore where they come with SD cards. But this one did come with a four gig, four gigabyte micro SD card. But like I said, all in all, this is a good phone. Uh, this is a really nice phone, and you know I have experienced no problem. I have had no problems with this phone whatsoever. Because it does seem to work and work well. Our home network. His phone name is the LG L34C. And like I said, it is running Android 4.4. So, you know, not a bad phone. Okay, big K. <laughs> um, so anyway, like I said, this is this is actually this is a really good phone, and I've not like I said, it's very smooth. It's it works very well, and you know if you're looking for a prepaid carrier, um, you know I know the Straight Talk does use different varieties of towers, but this phone right here does work off of the CDMA dash V. So you know, highly recommended. You know, it does have a low res screen. Nothing really amazing to look at. It's just you know a pretty good phone. I mean, by looking right here at I me, mean, my camera don't do justice of the of the screen, but the screen does look pretty. You know, vibrant. Does look pretty good, and I really don't have any issues. Now with the now with these um, with this 800 by 480. Now if this was like a 4.5 inch display, it would look more fuzzy and look more dull. But on 3.5 inch display, it looks actually pretty good, and don't really have much blurriness to it. But of course, when you wear brows, some of the text do look a little. Um, they don't, they just, they're not they're not very clear so uh, anyway uh, this has been a look at the LG Optimus Fuel from Straight Talk Wireless um, very good phone uh, just a small phone you know pretty entry level device but you know it does work and does work well and for the plans that Straight Talk offers uh, it's really a good deal if you can find it for the price I found it for uh, so anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask me. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I sure would appreciate it. This has been a look at the LG Optimus Fuel from Straight Talk Wireless. Y'all have a good one, and we'll catch you later.